Hello, this is Frog Project video number five. Okay, so I'm moving the eye and I'm going to make it just a tiny bit bigger in height. Um, I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to choose the free form scribble. And I'm going to be drawing some black lines. I'm going to start where I left off with that one. I'm going to go towards the shoulder, but I'm not going to touch it. And then I'm going to start heading towards the eye. A little curve, a little, little wave to the line. Go through the back of the eye. And then you're going to return. And you're aiming towards the middle of that black line there. Again, just add a few little wait, wait, wavy lines. Um, we're going to color it in uh, black. So do the shape and do the outline. Okay. And now in a different section, we're going to choose the same uh, drawing tool. And right above the eye, I'm I curve around and then I go pretty close to the other black line that's at the top, the black uh, shape, the black area that's at the top. Maybe about the, to the middle of that yellow area and then I turn back. Okay, so there it is. I'm just going to click the little, change it to black. Move the eye out, and then I'm going to select the two uh, things that I just drew. I'm going to go to Home, Arrange, and then group them together. Okay, so now they're part of the body. Insert Shapes. I choose the same tool. And uh, this black area down here towards the bottom, I'm going to stretch it up a little. Make it a little bit thicker and then go towards the top. And I'm going to close the shape. There it is. Make it black. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and draw another one near the top of the head. It's going to be kind of uh, an oval. Okay, I'm going to make it black. And uh, so I use control. I click on the things that I'm going to select. And I'm going to group them together. Okay, so the two new pieces. And I moved it around a little just so you can make sure that they are attached. Okay, so now the eye is... Um, behind the frog, so I'm going to bring it to the front, and then I'm going to move it and put it in place. And in front of the eye, there's going to be another black uh, spot. It goes to the front, it gets right to the edge of the red, and then it turns back and goes back towards the eye. Then I close it, and I'm going to click the little, make, them, make it black, black fill and black outline. And I'm going to go ahead and group it. So I use control, I click on the things that I'm going to group, go to arrange, and it's grouped. Okay, now the eye wound up going to the back, so. But I'm going to set it aside for a little bit. I'm going to. Okay, same tool. I'm going to draw inside the eye, and you can't see it, but when I change the color, you'll see the, the shape. These are going to be reflections, because. Um, yeah, reflections in the eye. So I'm going to choose a gray. It's a third from the bottom right there. Okay. 
And I'm going to do the same thing for the outline. Okay, so why did it disappear? Okay, so I'm drawing it again. So I'm choosing the gray, third from the bottom. Same for the outline. Actually, the outline, I'm going to go for no outline. I mean, it's not, it, it, don't worry about it, no outline. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and go down to size and position. I'm going to click on a little can of paint and choose a section that says fill and transparency. I'm going to move it to around 50%. Transparency, 50%. Okay, then I just close that. And I'm going to select the whole eye, and then I'm going to go ahead and group them together. That way we don't lose uh, the re reflection. Now I go back to shapes. I use the same drawing tool. And I'm going to draw another reflection. And this one is going to be brighter. It's going to be white. Okay, so it's going to be smaller. You'll be able to see it once I uh, change the color. Okay, so you can see it there already. So the the um, so I, so I went a little bit lower for the outline to make it a little bit gray, just a tiny bit gray. Okay, control, you select both of them, use the control button, select both of them, group it together. And so there it is, that's going to be the eye, and it has its reflections. So I'm going to move it in onto the head. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit control, I click on the body, and group it together. So now the eye is part of the frog body. And I'm going to move it right there so that it's right to the edge of that square and right about the top of that one. And I'm going to work on the foot. I'm going to get my drawing tool. And um, there's a little bit of a, a grayish blue uh, color on the frog. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go to the second from the bottom there. Well, actually, I'll just go all the way down to the bottom there, that gray on the left. And uh, let's see. Go to more fill colors. I'm going to scroll that down. So, so they all say, well, actually, I'm going to highlight it because there's a specific number I want. So it says 65. 73, 73, okay. Insert, drawing tool, ah, lost it. There it is, drawing tool again. And I'm going to go along the horizontal part of the frog foot there, the toe, and I know it's a thin little line, but you'll be able to see it once I color it in. And it's going to go back and forth. Okay, we'll go with that. And I should have the color there already, the the dark gray. So I just click on the buttons there for shape fill and shape outline. Okay, still using the same tool. Going on to the third finger.
So these are my approximations of what I see or what should I think I think should be there. Okay. So just click the button and it puts in the same color as the others. All right. So I'm going to carefully select them. So I selected the 3 and then I select the blue of the frog. I'm using the control button to select them all and then I go to arrange and group them together. And uh, I'm just going to put it on top of the other foot. Okay. But first, I'm going to make a copy. So I hit control C and then control V to make the copy. Okay. So that one's going to go on top of there. I move it forward just a tiny bit so that I can select the foot that's underneath. Okay, well, I select the whole frog. Group it together. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, okay, good. Now this foot, you put it back there. Um, if it had been in front, you would go to Arrange, and then you click the button that says uh, Send it to the back. Because sometimes the copies uh, end up in the front. So so anyway, there it is. And then, then you group, and you have your foot on there. I selected both the body and the foot, and then I grouped it together. I click the Save button, and um, sometimes it takes a while. Because the more complicated the image gets, uh, it takes a little while longer on PowerPoint. And I've made some images that get have a lot of detail, and um, you start moving things around on the screen, and there's a lot, there's lag, you know, there's a, uh, after images, it kind of moves slowly across. So the more complicated it gets, PowerPoint gets a little bit slower. So I chose the drawing tool again, and this time I'm going to be drawing a big leaf, or maybe it's a lily pad, it's a, le a leaf on the, for the background. So I start in the corner, I go through under the eye, you know, through the throat of the frog, start making the curve, and I'm going to go just a little bit behind the leg, and then down. And then I'm going to go across the bottom, and, you know, as straight as you can, to try to get to the other side, so I close the shape, okay? And I'm going to choose a green, um, second from the bottom there. Do that for the outline as well, okay? And it's selected, so I'm going to go to Home, Arrange, and then Send to the back. Okay, so there we are. So we've got a leaf. I'm going to go to Insert, Shapes. I'm going to go to Rectangle. I'm going to make a small rectangle first. Then I'm going to give it some color. I'm going to go to Black. And go to Home, Arrange, Send to the back. And so it's still selected, so I'm going to go all the way to the corner. Go to, go to the corner, and it's, that's going to be your background. Okay. Now, there, there is an, another option where you can, you know, if you have a photograph, you can actually upload a photograph and use that as your background. Okay. So the, the background and the, the green leaf, I have grouped them together. Okay, so now the background, the black area, and the green leaf, I've grouped them together. Um, I get the drawing tool, and I'm going to start working on some shadows. So I start right around where the, the, the throat is. I go through the fingers, maybe a little bit outside the edge of them. And uh, when I choose the gray for it, you'll, you'll, or I choose the color for it, you'll be able to see it better. But of course, I mean, the, the light source is above and maybe a little bit to the front of the frog. Okay, so there's the, where it goes under the belly, and then I'm going to go back and touch the, where I started by the throat. Okay, so let's see what color. I'm going to go to the dark green, 
It says accent number six, the very bottom one there. All right. And yeah, I'm going to get my frog out of the way for a moment. And I'm going to select both of them. Right, hang on. So I select the colored spot. I click on the leaf. Oh, yeah, I, I grouped them together. Okay, so there it is, group. And your frog went to the back. So now you're going to send this, the background, the leaf, to the back. Okay. So now you can move your frog back over here. Right around there. Okay. Okay. So go back to shapes. Choose your drawing tool. I'm going to put some of this shading, some of that shadow, right under the knee, a little bit under... Uh, the toe, under the, the next toe, go under, behind the legs, real close to the, to the back end of the frog. Okay. And now I'm just going to go through the inside because I'm going to go back to the beginning and close it. There it is. And I already have the color there, so I'm just going to click it. I'm going to move my frog out of the way because I don't want to accidentally uh, group my frog to the background. So I selected the background and the new green spot and I grouped them together. Now I'm going to click and send this to the background again, to the back I mean. And I can put my frog there just a little bit above the shading. Okay. Same tool. I'm going to be putting some darker, um, a little darker area under here. Okay. Okay, so I did that one, but uh, I need to make it darker. So I go more fill colors. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. Not sure how much more. Let's try that. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I think it should be darker. So more fill colors. I'm going to bring that little arrow down more. So it was like a 39, 60, 24. And so there it is. So you can tell the difference there. I'm going to move my frog out of the way. Select that new spot the background group it together all right send the background to the back okay go back to insert shapes drawing tool i'm going to make some of that darker uh, shadow underneath the hand, underneath the arm. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the beginning of it and close the shape. Okay, it didn't close, but you can still color it in. So, shape fill, shape outline. And I'm going to make some of that darker start right around the knee. And it's going to be a lot closer to, to the body than the other dark green. So it'll be a lot closer. Then I go ahead and go back to the beginning. Where was the beginning? Okay. Well... I don't think I quite hit the beginning, but we can still color it in. It still works. Good. I'm going to move my frog out of the way. So you see the darker color there. I'm going to select that one, select this one, the whole background, go back to home, arrange, and group. And I'm going to send the background to the back. And there's my frog. 
and there's a lot more detail than we can that we can add to it but uh, the frog is just about done um i think on the belly okay why isn't the shapes uh, working there it is right around the belly i'm going to add some some spots okay i'm going to go back to black insert shapes line i'm going to add another spot Okay, fill it in. And I'm going to select both spots and the frog body. And I'm going to group it together. Okay. Uh, so, so this is the end of this video. And we've got our frog, we've got our background. And it could probably use a few more details for the leaf, but we're going to stop there.